Hello, Google Frog here with a video showing off the new circle guard command and also acting as a bit of a tutorial. So here you have the basic command, you've got units walking around in a circle around a central unit. They'll follow the unit around if I move around the central unit. And generally protect it from cloaked units that might come close by decloaking them and running into them. So, how would you give this command? Firstly, you you select the guard command or you press G. G is the hotkey for guard. Click on the unit you want to guard, drag a circle and release. The units will then sort themselves out into a circle. You can't right click and drag like you would normal area command because that will be a line move. That's so that when you're line moving like this you don't accidentally guard your units. Also, the command is issued when the mouse is released, not when it's pressed. So, if I, for example, try and give the guard command to my commander, but then wait until it leaves the circle, the command will just be a normal area guard command, which is not what I wanted. So one of the things this command does is it matches speed. If I get these darts in here and give them a guard command and a circle guard command of the same radius, they'll all sort of slot in with the glaives and go at reduced speed. If I give them a dart command of a different radius, they'll go nice and fast. Just once everyone figures themselves out. But this only has a, this has limits. You can't stack lots of circles in here. So if I give a sumo, for example, a circle guard, then these glaives are suddenly going really slowly, which I might not want. Which brings me to the modifiers. So another type of another method of giving this command is to hold down Control while releasing the mouse. This makes the sumo not part of any any organization. It's just walking around by itself. The glaives are ignoring it and they bump into it and go back into their nice orderly um, nice orderly rotation. This has a bit of a downside because units won't nicely spread themselves out around the circle. If I get these darts and give a control command to this commander, then they all just walk around in a clump which you probably wouldn't want. So there are the two circle guard commands. The one which spaces them out nicely, which is just press G and make a circle. And the one that makes them not care about anyone else. Which makes a whatever shape the units happen to sort themselves into. There's a two related there's a related command which is a facing command which was added at the same time because it seemed like a very related thing. So to give this command G still left click on the unit but this time you have to hold alt while releasing the mouse. This gives a command which makes a nice protective concave around your unit at the radius that you specified. It's quite useful for fleas in particular because it'll make them stay cloaked because they're not moving. And of course the fleas to keep their relative position to the commander. So you might not want this relative position thing. Say so these fleas are always going to be on the left of the commander now. But what if I wanted something to be in the front of my commander? Well, the modifier for that is control and alt at the same time. So say so I do this, I've released the mouse in the direction that the commander was facing, which means these bandits are always going to try and keep themselves in the direction the commander is facing. So now they're going to go down, now they have to go all the way to up, and they can actually get quite confused if you jink your commander around, whereas the um, fleas over here are fine. They're keeping up happily. But of course the bandits will eventually figure themselves out. I'll just stop my commander and they'll get into their correct positions. 
So those are the four methods of giving this command. You've got you have G with nothing else, just makes a circle and they walk around. You've got this sumo which is doing G with control which makes it not care about anyone else and no one else pays any attention to it. You've got G with alt which makes a direct which makes a absolute directional facing. So now this flea is going to stay up there. And you've got G with both modifiers control and alt to make a facing that keeps the relative heading of the unit. There's one other thing. If you'll notice all these units if you were paying good attention you'll notice that my units weren't always moving in this direction. This can be toggled, in fact. I don't see why anyone would want to do that. They're a very weak kind of micromanager if they care whether the unit's going clockwise or anti-clockwise. But if you want to toggle them, get all your circling units, tell them to wait, and then tell them to unwait and they'll reverse direction. And there you go, I've now optimized my army for the direction they're moving. This is equivalent to just stopping all the units. So there's no circle guard going on at the moment and they're just giving the guard command again. Now the units are going the other way. It just toggles back and forth every time the, the unit doesn't have any thing guarding it. So this could be quite useful, the guard command. One case could be if you have a shield ball and you wanted to protect it. So say I get these outlaws, or do I uh, control alt guard command and set them to on and now nothing can attack from the front. Felons should go to the front of the shield ball so I'll do that and I'll get these these vandals and they'll just walk around the shield because they can. And now you've got a bit of a confusing shield ball so it doesn't seem very practical to do things this detailed but I'm sure it'll find uses in protecting commanders from scuttles and ultimatums. Although, if you want to try a very structured shield ball like this, by all means go ahead. One last nifty thing which the command can do is it supports factory queues. So if I put this player on repeat and make a guard, shift queue a guard command on this reaper, then the newly created glaives are going to just walk around a circle, or going to walk around this reaper in a circle, as if they were given a guard command themselves, that's how factory queues work. But I can see this to be very useful if you were at the stage of the game where you can just spam dirtbags behind a detriment. Just make the dirtbag factory have a circle guard command and it'll be always protected. So this reef has got nothing to fear from ultimatums now. So that is about it for the abilities and uses of the, of the circle guard command. I've been Googlefrog and thanks for listening.